Welcome to this edition of a sew along. We will be starting a sew along for Simplicity's S9470. This is part one. Welcome to part one of the sew along for Simplicity's S9470. I will be doing view B. Okay. Um, and it's basically has I always call them kimono or over, I think it's called over sleeve, something like that, where it doesn't have a seam. And it has the um, pleats to the side and the peplum that seems to hit at the upper hip. And in the back, if we look at the line drawing for B, and again, it's the shorter sleeve. Okay, but for B, it has the invisible, whoops, sorry, up here. <laughs> B, it has the invisible zipper. Okay, so that's the view I'll be doing, which again is view B. Um, the size choice that I'm going to be doing is size 22. Um, so my uh, body measurement for the bust is 45. Uh, finish measurement for a size 22 is 47 and a half which gives an ease of two and a half inches. If you remember from the uh, pattern spotlight, the ease that the pattern makers intended was three and a half um, as a fitted. And um, that already to me was um, two fitted, you know, cause me looking at the bus, I didn't think that was um, that fitted. I wanted it to be looser. Um, so I was going to move up to the semi-fitted range, and I was going to go on the low end of that range. So I think it was four and a quarter, something like that, four and a half that I was going to do um, for ease in this area. So my current ease is two and a half. So obviously I can't go up in sizes because I'm already at the high end, the highest, which is 22. Um, but traditionally... Um, a half an inch on the side seams is equivalent to one um, one size up, okay? So if I do a half an inch on the side seams, that will give me, it will move up from 47 and a half inches to 49 and a half inches, um, which will make, sorry, that will make my um, ease uh, a total of four and a half inches total. So if my body re measure it, remember it's 45 minus the 49 and a half, which, you know, which is the new ease amount. So you minus that out, that gives me four and a half inches um, of ease there. And I think that will be lovely for that. So I will be adding a half an inch um, to the side seams. And if you need me to explain that um, in more detail, you know, with the um, so long, not a so long, but, you know, a tutorial on how, you know, to go up a size, especially if you're already at the the end, <laughs> you know, um, how you can add sizes to your pattern. If you need me to explain that a little bit more and do a tutorial on that, let me know and I'll do that. But for this particular pattern, I'll be cutting um, or I'll be using a size 22, adding a half an inch um, to that along the side seams and cutting it out that there. So it basically what I'm doing is I'm increasing it from their size 22 up to a size 24. All right, so the fabric I used was a rayon chalice. So it's a chalice and the fiber is rayon. Um, it's 100% rayon. It's listed as very lightweight at three ounces. And looking at it, you know, it is um, a lightweight um, fabric. I got it from fabric.com, okay? And the item number is 0772641. And uh, the price that I got it at was $5.88. The care of it is washing it in cold and tumble, tumble drying. The width is 56 inches, just so you know. Yep. Okay. So that's it. So if you want to know a little bit more about this fabric, I've done a fabric spotlight on this and I'll put up the link here so you can see it and click on it so you can get a more in-depth 
um, review of this particular um, fabric. Okay, so again, the adjusted, anticipated adjusted um, pattern alterations, we already kind of went over that. I will be adding um, a half an inch along um, to, to my side seam so I can increase my size from a size 22 up to a size 24. Okay, and so next is going over the instructions. So we're going to be doing instruction review of this particular pattern where we review all the instructions and just make sure that it's uh, nothing difficult or nothing that would uh, trip us up when we um, get to that portion. So I will um, start that review here now. Okay, we'll be going over the pattern instructions for Simplicity S9470. And I'm just showing you here the views that I will be doing, which is view A, the front and back. So we're just gonna be going over the pattern pieces you'll be needing. You need one, which is the front, two, back, three, front facing, four, back facing, five, peplum front, six, peplum back. And those are the pieces you'll need. Okay, moving on to the layout. Um, for for me, my layout looks like this. Okay, so as you see, the layout here is the bottom portion. This portion right here, that's one third that's on the fold. Okay, and the other portion from that point all the way up to the top is a single layer right there with the fashion fabric face up. Okay. Um, here, since this is on the fold, you put it face down first, copy it, and then flip it over, and then copy the other side, and then cut it out. So that's how you do that. Okay, and so some pieces need to be interfacing, and that's just what I'm showing you up here, is that's how you would interface it, or those are the pieces you need to interface. All right, so moving on to the sewing directions, um, you need to know how to stay stitch. All right, so step one, we're basically stay stitching um, the front pattern piece, and you go from the outside to the end, so from the shoulders to the center on both sides. You do the same thing for the back, from the shoulders to the inside. I do my stays to skin at a 2.0. Then here, what you're going to do is do your pleats. And then you're going to base it at the bottom to secure the pleats. Here, what you're doing is doing, um, doing the over shoulder, I forgot what it's called, but from, from the shoulder down to the sleeve and then from the waist around to the shoulder, I mean, around to the sleeve again. And then you're going to reinforce just under the underarm, which means you're just going to sew again. Reinforcing, I do it at 2.0. Okay, here is just telling you about hemming the sleeve. Okay. And here for the skirt bottom, we're going to stay stitch again at the top from the out to the end. Okay, we're basically going to skip some steps here and we're just going to um, saying, um, to sew the side seams together of the front and back of the skirt there. I'm going to do that and then we're going to join the skirt to the bodice at the waistline. And that's just joining at the waistline. So moving right along, this is installing the invisible zipper. I don't do it the way they do it in the instructions, but at this point you'll be installing the invisible zipper. And here we're going to be doing the facing. So you're going to attach the back pieces of the facing together at the side seams. Okay, and then you're going to attach it to the bodice neckline. And that's what this step is here. All 
right, moving on. Okay, so this step is just um, finishing the zipper portion. So it'll be a clean finish. And then at this point, we're gonna understitch it. Of course, we're gonna trim clip corners um, where need to. And basically this step is just telling you to secure the facing to um, the shoulders at the seam allowance. You're just basically tacking it down there so the, so the facing doesn't just flop around. So this concludes the pattern instructions review for Simplicity's S9470. Okay, so I typically give you one week to do all your prep work. So again, your prep working, you know, includes cutting out your uh, pattern pieces, uh, pre-washing your fabric, ironing your fabric, um, laying out your fabric, putting the um, pattern pieces on your fabric, cutting out the, uh, the fabric. Um, it also includes marking your fabric, notching, things of that nature, and also interfacing any pieces that require interfacing. So again, I typically give you, give you a week to do all of that. So once you finish doing that, we will move on to part two. Okay. If you made this pattern or intend to, or, or, or if you're going to follow along with me, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing.